please be seated. Good evening, fellow graduates, faculty, family, and friends, and welcome to the graduation ceremony for Bremen High School Class of 2023. My name is Lily Gambrell, and it is my honor to stand before you today as the salutatorian of this class. I would like to start by recognizing and taking a moment to appreciate everyone that has helped me and my peers reach the point at which we are tonight. On behalf of the class of 2023, I extend a huge thank you to all the faculty and staff of the Bremen City School System. From the administration, to all the teachers, to the janitorial and cafeteria staff, and to everyone else that is a part of this school system. You all have contributed so greatly to each of our lives and shaped us into who we are today. I have learned a lot both inside and outside of the classroom from so many of you, and I will always be grateful for the community and family I have found through Bremen City Schools. I also would like to thank my own family. Thank you to my parents for always supporting, uplifting, challenging, encouraging, and inspiring me. You have truly pushed me in my schoolwork, extracurricular activities, and most importantly, my faith. You have never failed to not only provide a listening ear, but also the wisest words of advice. You have given me more than I could ever deserve, and I love you both. Thank you to my sister, Gracie Gambrell, for your compassionate heart and sweet spirit. Without a doubt, I would not be who I am today without you as the biggest role model in my life. Finally, I want to thank my peers sitting in front of me tonight. I will always be so grateful to have grown up alongside you all. I have formed dozens of friendships that I will forever cherish, and I have made so many memories over the past 13 years with you. On our first day of high school in 2019, this moment a quick four years later seemed so far away. But since then, we've been through countless sports and band practices, lots of Friday night lights, late nights of studying, fun times with friends, not so fun tests, a very prolonged spring break in 2020, concerts, plays, and events in the Fine Arts Center, school dances that leave me without a voice, and so much more. Our high school years have completely flown by, and the next phase of our lives is going to fly by too. I hope I will never take for granted the opportunity and privilege I had to attend the same school as some of the most kind-hearted, intelligent, talented, and hardworking people I know. At the beginning of this school year, when we had to select our senior quote, I immediately thought of a Bible verse from the book of Esther. Esther was selected to be queen of the Persian Empire, and in the midst of the most uncertain, troubling times, her cousin Mordecai reminded her of the purpose and intentionality of her life. To quote Esther 4.14, he said, Yet who knows whether you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Friends, I know our future is filled with a mixture of so much possibility, excitement, and uncertainty, but my prayer is that you will seek intentionality in every stage of your life, regardless of the circumstances. Interestingly enough, the name Esther is of Persian origin, meaning star. Wherever you end up and whatever you choose to do, whether that be joining the workforce, serving our country, or furthering your education, continue to be a star by shedding your light, even if all else ceases to shine. Be the good in the world and dream big. I know you are all going to accomplish great things, and I cannot wait to see what your future holds. Congratulations, Class of 2023. We've made it. Thank you. Hello everyone and welcome to the graduation of Bremen High School's class of 2023. It's an honor to stand here today as your valedictorian. Now it hasn't been the most traditional path for us to get here. We entered as bright-eyed freshmen ready to take high school by storm only to be thrown back out after one and a half semesters. We've attended school in the middle of an active construction zone. We survived a couple of years without a Bremen Chick-fil-A. And we've gone through countless crises and obstacles on the way, and still, we've made it here today. We've learned and grown and changed. We're no longer the annoying freshmen we used to be. We're slightly less annoying adults. And we couldn't have done this alone. Thank you to our teachers and staff. Part of what makes Bremen so special is that we have teachers and staff who truly care about students and want to see us succeed. 
Thank you, friends and family, for believing in us when we didn't believe in ourselves, for sticking with us through thick and thin, and for supporting us every step of the way. I want to give a personal thank you to my, family, to my family, my parents, mom and dad. I love you. I don't know what I would do without you. Also thanks to my brothers, Albert and Justin. Now, there has been some confusion in the past. Five years ago, Albert said in his valedictorian speech that Justin and I outvote him when we go out to eat. And two years ago, Justin said in his speech that he is outvoted when we go out to eat. And I'm here today to clear up the real truth, which is that Justin's probably right. I mean, um, some of us actually have taste, Justin, I'm sorry. But love you both as well. And also a special shout out to our band. From personal experience, I know you loved playing Pomp and Circumstance 20 times in a row, so thank you. Now, as part of graduation speech tradition, I feel obligated to spend some time talking about the future and giving advice. And sure, advice to younger high school students, I can do that. I can tell you what clubs I'd recommend, mock trial for one. I can tell you the definitive best napping location in VHS, the encyclopedia section in the back of the library, surprisingly. I can tell you what I would do over if I had the chance and what I would avoid at all costs. But I hit writer's block when I tried to think of advice for my fellow graduates. I don't have any profound wisdom to share, and I don't know what the future may hold for us. So in classic high school fashion, I turned to Google. I tried to find some snappy, inspirational quotes on the internet that I could imitate, and I found some quotes that wouldn't seem out of place in any high school classroom. Be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. You're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Every day is a good day when you're Dan Gurley. <laughs> but life is a little more complex than these quotes make it seem. Sure, I can repeat what some famous person said and act like that's all you need to succeed in the future, but that's just not true. Knowing that Winston Churchill once said, keep calm and carry on, did not help me keep calm before a literary competition. Knowing the proverb, good things take time, has not eradicated my doubts about the future. And hearing my parents, friends, and teachers all say don't procrastinate on this speech, well, guess what happened? This is all to say, much wisdom has to be earned by doing. Much of what we learn comes from our own experiences, and the lessons that stick with us the longest come from our own mistakes. Sometimes you truly have to fool around to find out. In many ways, high school tries to teach us how to avoid past mistakes. Sometimes you can't avoid that tardy when you arrive at 8.07 a.m. And that chemistry is not going to be just common sense. You have to study. Every disappointment, every failure, every mistake has built us up to who we are today. And so our education will continue after graduating high school regardless of what path we choose. Every one of us will mess up and fail, so it's up to us to learn from our own mistakes. So if there's one thing that you take from this speech, it's this. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, because that's just how you learn. And ironically, I do want to end with a quote by writer David Foster Wallace. Your education really is the job of a lifetime, and it commences now. I wish you way more than luck. Thank you. Lily, Eugen, great job. Good evening and welcome to the home of the Blue Devils here at Reading Field and um, the commencement ceremony for the class of 2023. Family and friends, this graduating class, thank you for being here. Graduates, I'm honored to speak with you this evening. This being my very first year as superintendent for Bremen City Schools, I'll start by sharing some of my reflections, some of the things I've seen, some of the things I've heard, and some of what I've learned this year. So what have I seen? I have seen a true commitment 
to excellence and high achievement inside and outside of the classrooms by hardworking and conscientious students and staff. I have been witness to Bremen's long-standing hometown traditions supported and nurtured by a community, a community that loves and cherishes Bremen City Schools. If you are one who listens to all the noise in the media, you would believe that this place isn't real. But I'm here to tell you that I have seen a school system that exists in the heart of a community where integrity, hard work, core family values and principles are alive and well. And I have seen a senior class who has achieved some fantastic things along their collective journeys that led right here to this field tonight. These students on the front row before me will read off a litany of academic excellence and accolades and achievements here in just a moment. So I'll leave that to them. But I do have one large number that I'd like to share that will be of interest to mamas and daddies in the crowd. That number is $1,337,000. That amount represents the total dual enrollment credits earned multiplied by about $3,500, which is the estimate of what a, a, a credit will cost you these days. And so that estimated total of college tuition is money that mamas and daddies don't have to spend because of the dual enrollment opportunities that we offer right here at Bremen High School. I've seen a senior class who has contributed to the school and community with 4,498 and a half community, ser community service hours. Senior leaders on this field excelled athletically as well as 17 teams competed in this year's state playoffs. Six of those teams competing at the final four level or higher. We have two state champion teams this year. We are the 3A powerlifting state champions, and this senior class helped propel our literary team to its ninth straight state championship. It's not just the ninth, but it's the 15th literary state championship that has been won in Bremen's history. And there's one other cool fact about that. Bremen High School currently holds the longest consecutive streak of any Georgia High School Association sanctioned sport or activity in the entire state of Georgia. So those are just some of the things that I've seen in my first year as superintendent. Well, and, and trains, I've, I've, seen, I've seen a bunch of trains. So what have I heard? I have heard many welcoming voices. I've heard kind and encouraging words. I've heard from individuals, community groups, churches, and businesses who have invested and want to continue to invest in our students in our schools. I've also heard persistent voices from those who want us to be even better than we have been in the past. The same kind, the same kind of voices, students, that you have heard from your teachers and parents at those times when you needed a push. I have heard the desires of this community that we continue to strive for excellence in all that we do, that we preserve our wonderful traditions, and that we hold on tight to the core family values and principles that attract others to our community and schools. Those are just some of the things that I've heard in my first year. Well, hold on. Uh, did I mention trains? I've, our office there on uh, Pacific Avenue, right there at the train tracks, we, we get to hear the trains quite a bit. So let me tell you about the things I've learned. I have learned about the heritage of Bremen, the faith, the hard work. I've learned about the entrepreneurship and the spirit of excellence that was birthed by the people during the rise of the textile industry. I've learned that Blue Devils come home 
And when they come home, they display that same blue devil spirit and pride they had when they were sitting right where you sit today. I have learned that great parents, great students, and a great community help to develop and nurture great young people. And I've learned that Bremen is a special place, a place that you can always come back to, no matter how far you might go or how, mu how uh, long your travels take you. Blue Devils, this is always your home, and you are always welcome. Those are just some of the things I've learned in my first year. Oh, and, and you probably already know this, but if you don't, when that train stops there at, you know, like on the tracks and you, and you want to get on the other side, there, there's a Bryan Street. It goes underneath right there at 78. It's very helpful. My house is over there on that side. I'll wrap up tonight by talking about influencers. I settled on influencers because I never liked the normal question that accompanies graduation. What do you want to be when you grow up? And honestly, I didn't like that question because I didn't know the answer. I didn't come to know that answer, to confidently know that answer until well into my adulthood. So I like this one better. Who are your influencers? Who has had the most positive influence on your life? The answer is usually not, in a, not a single person. Usually it's a large collection of people. Visitors and guests, I was nervous to ask that question of these seniors, but I did. Let me talk about why I was nervous. Because influencer has a very different meaning today than it did when I was young. When I was young, we were mostly influenced by those we admired. For instance, I admired the talents of the likes of Herschel Walker and Dominique Wilkins. My dad once gave me a book titled Paul Anderson, World's Strongest Man. I was probably nine or 10 years old. I read that book from cover to cover many times over. It's the first book that wasn't a children's book that I can remember reading. I was amazed by Paul Anderson. I admired his determination and his feats of strength. I also loved to watch Olympian Carl Lewis run and jump and set world records. He would motivate me to go outside and sprint back and forth across the yard for hours and hours. I asked for a stopwatch one Christmas and my neighbors, Rodney and Chris, they were, they were brothers, lived next door. We would clock each other from daylight till dark. By the way, I set multiple backyard world records uh, there on Fairlane Drive in Morrow, Georgia. And I might also mention Dale Murphy. Boy, did he ever influence my life and in, 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 in my love of baseball. So I was the typical athlete-loving boy as a youngster, and I was influenced by those guys. Back to being nervous about the question I asked y'all. Let's face it, influence, influencer has taken on a very different meaning today. There was no such thing as an internet sensation, an Instagram or social media influencer back in my day. There was no path to success or a career as an influencer for most of us. I was, I was nervous about that question because I thought you might not take it seriously. I was nervous because you might list Kylie Jenner or Cristiano Ronaldo or Selena Gomez or Billie Eilish as the most influential people in your lives. But I was wrong, and you were impressive as always. In just a moment on the screen tonight, I, it will be a collection of pictures provided by a number of these seniors in the crowd tonight. And these are pictures that these seniors submitted of influential people in their lives, and I'd bet many of them are seated here tonight. I will also read some of the words they shared, and they won't line up with the pictures once I get them going, but these are the words. My dad had an in, a significant influence on my life because he showed me how to be strong and that I can get through anything. 
My mother's accomplishments as a social worker instilled a love of helping people in me. My grandma's influence taught me to be kind to everyone. Miss Bohannon showed me what it means to be kind and to have a good attitude about everything in life. My mom, because she is hardworking and compassionate, she is my role model. My cousin for always being by my side and cheering me on when things get tough. Mackenzie always matches my vibe, and she's my very best friend. My sisters always support me. My big sister, Abby, she always has my back. My grandfather always supported my journey through music and sports. My mom has always helped and supported me unconditionally. My father, he always supports me through everything. Coach Tammy Thompson. I would call her my second mom. She has been there for me since day one. My dance teacher, Stacy, she always helps me look at life positively. My mom has had a significant influence by being loving always. Miss Monica has been there with me as a coach, teacher, and friend. My grandmother is very nice and I get that from her. My great-grandmother, Mama Tommy is everything I aspire to be and more. Miss Garrett taught me that beauty is on the inside, but she is beautiful inside and out. My mom helps me in every aspect of my life. Gracie is my biggest role model and best friend. My mom, she's who I am, who I aim to be like. Graduates, as I close, I have three challenges for you. One, never let kind words and thank you go unsaid. Two, strive to be a positive influencer in all that you do. Take your faith, core family values, integrity, and hard work and spread them out into this world. Those things are uncommon, but you can change that. And last, Blue Devils, Come back to Bremen, where you're always welcome. I'm proud of you. I love you. Congratulations, class of 2023. Class of 2023 has a total of 155 promising graduates prepared to take the step toward becoming productive citizens in our community. 77 members of this class have earned the status of honor graduate with a core academic grade point average of 3.7 and above. Stu five students documented more than 300 hours of community service over the last four years and have earned the right to wear a red service cord. The overall numerical average of the class is a 92.2. The overall, overall grade point average is a 3.67. 93% of the class earned a pathway completion cord for completing three classes in an area approved by the Georgia Department of Education. 99 students earned a cord in career and technical education in the following areas. Teaching as a profession, 12 students. Entrepreneurship, 10 students. Engineering and technology, 22 students. Allied healthcare, 39 students. Forensic science, 32 students. Eight dual enrollment students at West Georgia Technical College also earned a pathway as certified nursing assistants and in welding. In the area of fine arts, 67 students completed a pathway and earned a cord for music, drama, or art. 59 students earned a cord in the area of world languages. 114 students earned an academic pathway recognition by taking additional core academic subjects through the AP program or through dual enrollment programs.
In fall of 2023, 68% of this graduating class plans to continue their education by attending either a college or university. 17% plan to attend a technical college to earn a professional certificate or an associate's degree. Three students have made a commitment and will be entering into the military. 7% plan to enter full-time employment. Twenty-seven institutions of higher education will be receiving Freeman High School graduates in the fall of 2023. Thirteen percent of BHS graduates will be attending institutions of higher education outside of the state. Eighty-three students have taken honors courses in various concentrations throughout their high school years. Fifty-seven students have taken advanced placement courses throughout their years of high school with curriculum approved nationally by the College Board. 102 students have earned college credit through the University of West Georgia or West Georgia Technical College through the dual enrollment program. Thirty-nine students have received academic and or athletic college scholarships from their chosen college for the next four years. The value of these scholarships is estimated to be $450,000. 134 graduates qualify for the HOPE scholarship for their freshman year of college. This totals approximately $750,000 toward tuition for Georgia colleges. $46,250 in scholarship money has been awarded to members of the class of 2023 from 44 local community-based efforts. We are fortunate to be Bremen High School graduates as this community has not only supported us throughout our high school years, but continues to support us in our adulthood. For the freshman year of college, an estimate of $2,642,250 has been awarded to members of the graduating class in scholarships and grants to provide for the continuation of their education. To all of you here tonight, thank you for all you have done for us so that we may truly celebrate this milestone in our lives. Good evening. The goal of leadership should always be to leave things better than you find them. Class of 2023, you have modeled that leadership through academic achievement, through athletic accomplishments, and through excellence in the performing arts. Seniors, I want you to realize that you did not make it to this field tonight by yourselves. Some of you had tougher obstacles than others, uh, but I want you to think about uh, those who have supported you, encouraged you, guided you, even corrected you, uh, as, as many people here love you. One of those very special groups is your parents. If you are a parent or a guardian of a class of 2023, 20, or if you are filling that role because of the loss of a parent, please stand. I will also say that Bremen High School uh, teachers were not the only ones that contributed. I mean, that you have been through Jones Elementary School, Bremen Academy, M Bremen Middle, and some of you came from other schools before you got here. Uh, if you are a teacher, if you have taught any student on this field or an administrator have worked at the school at Jones Elementary, Bremen Academy, Bremen Middle School, or Bremen High School, or at another school where these students attended, if you are a teacher or educator, please stand. This evening, you may notice many of our graduates wearing gold cords and tassels. These gold cords and tassels signify honor graduate status for the Bremen High School graduates. Graduating from Bremen High School with a cumulative academic GPA of 3.7 or higher is no small task. Honor graduates, please stand. Thank you. Let me just mention a little more about that group. Um, 
it's pretty impressive. Uh, Mr. Christian mentioned the $1.3 million, I believe it was, that, that uh, has already been saved for students that earn dual enrollment. Uh, but this, this group, uh, earning honor, honor, honor graduate status and being eligible for the Hope Scholarship is unbelievable. Last year we had 74% of our graduating seniors being eligible for Hope Scholarship. Let me sh just share what that means. We were the number two district in the state of Georgia with 74%. This year, 85% of our seniors are eligible for the Hope Scholarship. That's about another million dollars saved uh, for parents. That is unreal to think. So we're, we're up two and a half million dollars now just because of your academic achievement here from Bremen High School. So unbelievable. Many of our graduates also took AP or advanced placement courses. Bremen High School is recognized in the state and country as being exemplary for our AP performance. Graduates, if you took any AP coursework throughout high school, please stand. Thank you. Graduates also had the opportunity to take college classes. If you earned any college credits while you were enrolled here through dual enrollment, please stand. Thank you. Students were encouraged to complete pathways. A pathway completion means that they take at least three sequence courses in an area of concentration. Students, if you are a pathway completer, please stand. Thank you. You may also notice that some of our students are wearing various colors of cords. Uh, these cords represent seniors' very hard work and accomplishments beyond the traditional classroom. There's no way for us to name them all, but I encourage you uh, tonight to ask, uh, ask them to tell you what, what, what each represents. Today, we also recognize our star student, Eugen Sheehan. Eugen, would you please stand? All right, Eugen, you can remain standing just for a second. Eugen is in the top 10% of her class. She has the highest SAT score for the graduating class. If you are a member of Eugen's family, please stand. And lastly, Eugen chose Mr. Jason Fields as her star teacher. At this time, we ask Coach Fields if you would please stand. Thank you. Finally, I want to recognize our valedictorian and salutatorian. These two have the highest honor GPA at BHS, and again, this is no small accomplishment. Our salutatorian for the class of 2023 is Lily Gambrell. Lily, if you and your family would please stand and be recognized. Our valedictorian this year is Eugene Shin. Eugene, I know y'all have already stood and been recognized as, as a star, but Eugene, would you please stand and along with your family be recognized as our valedictorian? Thank you. There's one other group that I'd like to recognize. These are young people who have chosen careers that exemplify the concept of putting others first. At this time, any of our seniors who are making a commitment to, to freedom by enlisting in a branch of the United States military, please stand and be recognized for your commitment to serve our great country. Thank you. Seniors, I don't think you can hear it too many times. I want to tell you before I step off this stage that I love you, that I'm proud of you, and that I have, it has been an honor to be your principal for the last four years. Mr. Christian, uh, Chairman Pelt, Bremen City Board of Education members, Bremen High School faculty and staff, proud parents and family members, and invited guests, it is my pleasure to present to you Bremen High School's Class of 2023.
I commend you, Bremen High School administration, faculty and staff and students for this academic, uh, for these academic accomplishments. To the parents and citizens of Bremen, I salute you and thank you for making this graduation possible. Dr. Lover. As outlined by the policies of the Bremen Board of Education, these records have been reviewed and I certify that they comply with the state and Southern Association requirements. Based upon the powers vested in me by the Bremen Board of Education, I do hereby authorize the release of these diplomas. May God bless each and one of you. Congratulations to class of 2023. Lily Catherine Gambrell. Eugen Esther Shin. Nolan Keith Bates. Stetson Brock Bullock. Copeland Calloway Hardy. Mary Faith House. Om Bippin Patel. Sarah Elizabeth Prater. Madison Brooke Robinson. Alyssa Ann Rowe. Madison Taylor Stidham. Madison Elizabeth Wheeler. Martha Grace Otwell. Peyton Bell Akins. Cody Joseph Allen. Nathan Rustin Armas. Clayton Lee Arp. Madeline Elizabeth Arrington. Emma Kate Atkinson. Bess Benita Barrow. Adriana McKenzie Berry. Cameron Denise Bartlett. Gracie Ann Boatwright. Shikari Diamond Body. Jesse Boyer Bolton. Reagan Vera Bolton.
Naomi Grace Bowling. Luke Taylor Bridges. Davis Aiden Brock. Hannah Sydney Faye Brown. Jenna Catherine Brown. Samora Anastasia Burgess. Zachary Allen Burns. Lenore Burrell. Isabel Claire Camp. Caston Keith Carr. Jesse Tatum Carino. Andrew Scott Carroll. Madeline Elizabeth Carter. April Lee Chambly. Trinicia Elaine Chapman. Abby Lynn Clayton. Lucy Victoria Codner. Zoe Ellen Cook. Cade Harrison Costanzo. Brooks Edward Costley. Riley Michelle Crawford. Drake McGregor Deloach. Molly Elizabeth Driver. Bryce Andrew Duvall. Alyssa Brooke Ellerton. Jacob Riley Evans. Jasmine Eva Feliciano. Andrew George Flotz. Sincia Grace Garland. Isabella Rose Godwin. Barrett Anderson Greenhall. Kiefer Chase Haller. Cadence Mackenzie Hannon. Journey Marie Harrison. Nicholas Paul Douglas Haynes. James Taylor Henderson. Grant Carter Hicks. Molly Grace Holcomb.
Braden Lee Holbrooks. Madison Lynn Ochoa Hoover. Luke Alexander Huff. Catherine Alina Hunter. Allison Danielle Jackson. Haley Jane Jacobs. Veronica Madeline Lee Jaglinski. Jenna Elizabeth Gendrich. Maddie Brooke Johnson. Peyton Bradley Johnson. Jaden Lee Keith. Lily Kate Cowan. Brody Vincent King. Jake David Kreft. Sarah Elizabeth Lambert. Sophia Jacqueline Long. Luke Alfrez League. Mary Grace Lemmings. Jade Victoria Lewis. Matthew Henry Lucky. Elijah Joseph Peter Manalisa. Logan J. Mann. Reuben Aaron Martinez. Gavin Fuller Mestrangelo. Olivia Grace Matthews. Isabel Francis McCord. William Evan Ward McDonald. Bryce Dean McFarlane. Alexander Price McGill. Isabella Preston McWhorter Young. Savannah Marie Middlebrooks. Deese Logan Miller. Morgan Mildred Moody. Jocelyn Jose Morin. Grayson Miles Motes. Brianna Bell Muldoon. Madison Elizabeth Mumford. Layla Scout Murray.
Braden Jared Muse. Koga Tristan Nagashima. Hampton Lane Newburn. Caitlin Elaine Newman. Ava Greer Asisco. Kate Allison Palmer. Ram Mitesh Patel. Doc Hovis Pearson. Abigail Matilda Pike. Hillary Page Pollard. Layla Jasmine Pollard. Rory Patrick Powers. Samuel West Pullen. Hannah Isla Paris Rayburn. Timothy Clark Reddick. Amanda Roxanne Reinhardt. Neely Shea Richardson. Avery Bross Roberts. Kaysen Shane Robbins. Austin Mitchell Robinson. Caitlin Nicole Roundtree. Kayla Nicole Rourke. Mitchell Robert Sauls. William Martin Seal. Maggie Elizabeth Sensenig. Danny Lynn Jaden Sheets. Sam Houston Sheffield. Cadence Jewel Sherwood. Faye Alexandra Small. Caleb Jason Smith. Hannah Nicole Snyder. Darian Lee Snowden. Joel Tyler Stanford.
Katie Elizabeth Steffi. Haley Michelle Stevens. Emma Grace Stitcher. Kaden Noah Sweat. Cole Mabry Tanner. Jillian Kate Taylor. Jonah Caleb Terry. Jesse Brian Toole. Blake Daniel Underwood. Cincy Nicole Voiles. Madison Nicole Waddell. Bryce Holden Waldo. Lily Rivers Waldrop. Eric Wade Wallace. Tyson Ware Washington. Brian Allen West. Landon Hunter Wigley. Landon Ashton Wood. Mary Ella Wood. Emma McKenzie Wright. Would you please rise and join us in the singing of the alma mater? You will find the lyrics on the back of your program. Oh. 
You may be seated. <laughs> well, friends, we're finally here. We anticipated this day since we first tried on our Class of 2023 t-shirts in kindergarten. In these past 13 years, we've experienced so much together. We took zoo field trips in elementary school. We visited our nation's capital in the fifth grade. We traveled all over the state of Georgia on the infamous study cave trip. We survived a global pandemic, and last but certainly not least, we conquered the all-night adventure of Grad Bash at Universal Studios. Whether you are here for it all or you've recently joined our Blue Devil family, we all have something in common. We all came to BHS for an education, but we have gotten so much more than we've ever dreamed of. Both in and outside the classroom, we were constantly learning. We may have been learning chemistry or economics inside the classroom. The lessons we were really learning were those of kindness, compassion, and loyalty through our relationships with one another. We've learned, through, we've learned the importance of friendship through difficult times. We've learned to push ourselves past our limits. And most importantly, we've learned to show up strong. We showed up strong to support our fellow Blue Devils as they compete, and we've learned the value of service and shown up strong. We've shown up strong for one another, and I have no doubt that this class is full of leaders who will one day change the world for the better. Sitting in these chairs are our future doctors, lawyers, teachers, nurses, men and women of service, public safety workers, linemen, and so much more. Although we may not all have our future planned out, I know they will all be exceptionally bright. From the academic prowess to athletic excellence and to having a service heart, this class has achieved nothing less than greatness. As we chase our dreams in this upcoming year, I would like to share with you a verse from Psalms 24. Let God grant what is in your heart and fulfill all your plans. As we step into this new chapter of our lives, I'd like to reflect upon the memories of the past. In these past four years, we've enjoyed homecoming fireworks on this very field. We've spent countless late night dinners at the Waffle House. We've had the most spirited student section in the entire state of Georgia. We've danced to all the cheesy music at high school dances, and we even managed to pull off a pretty awesome senior prank that involved all of us riding around in the back of a U-Haul. These are all memories that we, keep, that we will keep forever in our hearts despite the distance between us all. After we part ways tonight, we will never forget the friendships and memories we have experienced here at BHS. These memories and legacies will be, will be what we leave behind for the future generations. This moment would not be possible without the molding from our teachers, and for that I say thank you. Thank you for taking chances on us and having the patience to watch us grow into our true selves. I would also like to thank our families and friends for being a support system for us all. I would also like to do a personal shout out to my friends and family because I could not be here without you. And finally, graduates, none of this would have been possible without you. You never gave up and all of your work has finally led to this moment. Class of 2023, it has been an extreme honor to grow up with each and every one of you, but it's been an even greater honor to serve as your class president. It is now my privilege to lead us in the turning of the tassel ceremony. Please stand.
As we stand here for the last time as Bremen High School students, soak it all in. Look at the faces beside you and remember the good times we've all had together. I want to, re I want to congratulate each and every one of you. High school is now over and we will soon begin the rest of our lives. In this new chapter of our lives, I would like to remember Neil Donald Walsh's quote, life begins at the end of your comfort zone. I cannot wait to see each and every one of you venture outside your comfort zone and accomplish all of your dreams. Bremen High School, class of 2023, you may now turn your tassels from the right to the left. I now have the privilege to announce us all as Bremen High School graduates. Congratulations, everyone. I love you. Meet me at the B.